of the day, starting a new Kenji playthrough. Whenever this happens, it's gonna be a good day. So I have all my settings just set to basic. I was gonna call this a let's play, but I realize it's more of a <laughs> more of a fucking let's struggle. So upon character creation, I get this character model who immediately reminded me of a uh, thing Shaggy from Scooby Doo. So. <laughs> You know, I'm not playing with a dog started, unfortunately, so we'll have to find Scooby-Doo. Where are you? But, for now, we at least got Scooby. Or is Shaggy? That's his fuck. But, we start off in the hub pretty weak, confused. Shaggy does not know where, where the fuck he is, obviously, or what to do. But, thankfully, I have some experience in the Kenshi world. First thing I do is make a mad dash for this little house over here one of the only ones that isn't broken as in the hub this house has a random spawn of loot we got pretty lucky this time cactus grog grog like ooh, we're balling and stuff the chest after i unlocked it didn't really have fuck all except like a med kit and some green fruit but on our way back we found a robot named bangs and he wants 3,000 cats to recruit him. Now, I don't have this money yet, but after a mad dash into the bar and selling what I had just picked up from the house, I have just enough to get Bangs into my party and have a little over for food. So, I talk to Bangs again and recruit him. So, I'm now Shaggy and Skeleman. I decide it'd be best if we head over to the Shinobi Tower. Now I don't have the money to join them yet, but I could at least walk in and sneak around. Now, there's a lot of people around because I'm using a lot of mods, but I was able to get quite a bit of sneaking in done, especially throughout the night where it seemed to be a lot easier where uh, there wasn't any, as many light sources to be spotted at. But we got our stuff up to like about 14, 15 for Shaggy. And upon going back to the hub, we notice there's just mad brawls. So I get them to go beat up a hungry bandit, finish that off. And then we just basically start looting around in the hub. And I get quite a bit of like good random gear throughout the day from, uh, you know, just people being knocked out. Pretty decent, seeing as I didn't even have to do any fighting. But after selling all our stuff, I had enough money to grab myself another Robo Man renamed him to B01. Now, there are huge groups coming in and out through Kenshi, and my little group of three barely even fucking makes a notice, so I wanted to get them loaded up with some iron. The, this way, once they're loaded up, we can walk around and increase our strength and get some strength training. Now, I'm watching over them carefully as well while I'm doing this, as I don't want anyone to get attacked now. and. Mining is pretty dangerous in Kenshi sometimes, but we make it okay. I look back at the hub and there's still like blood brawls going on. Like there's so much stuff going on at the hub due to all these mods. The plan is to go from point A to point B over here and just keep on doing that about like 10 to 30 times to increase our strength. I also find that there's random people lying around so I pick them up. That way we can increase our strength even more. Now doing this I committed a crime. And I didn't want to get my ass kicked, so I ran out the city, used our stealth, and hid. During this, we found a Shek warrior called Lissi, I think. <clears throat> but either way, after passing a dialogue with him, he is now in our party. And I get him to pick up someone as well. Now, it's all looking good until like later on in the day when these white eyebrow fuckheads fucking come over and just completely fuck everything up. I go into the bar to try and get some help. No one helps. No one gives a fuck. I think they actually killed the barkeeper too. B01 manages to make it alive and we go to the first bar to try and grab a skeleton or parakeet. Couldn't get one. Find one at the second bar and sell all of our stuff to get it. We're repairing, fleeing, and by this time we're just chilling in the fucking chilling upstairs in the beds because all of my guys are beat the fuck up because <laughs> of the white bro eyebrow asshole either way now i'm looking at my party and i'm like wow you guys really aren't that strong i'm thinking maybe let's do some strength training or something you know that would probably help out 
and then immediately we get attacked by a different group of a holy nation outlaws i'm guessing because we had stolen some of their gear and now that they're awake they want to fucking get it back well they're not getting it back even though all my guys are beat the fuck up <laughs> but we managed just to knock out the enemies and I decide to go around and grab more equipment as I'll probably need to sell stuff later to grab more medkits. <laughs> and it was soon after this that I decided, hey, the hub is swarming with fucking activity. I might as well go on the outside of a hub and try and get some loot there. Which was a terrible fucking mistake because if anything, that place was worse because it had less uh, guards and other people just walking around. It, the moment I walk into here, I'm entering battle with the Dust Bandits, <laughs> who are currently raiding this bar and outpost. And this, of course, doesn't go too, too well for most of my characters. Most of them just get beat the hell up. The only character that did stand a chance was B01, and he fucking held in. He took out the two guys that were attacking him, and he's like... Full of fucking arrows. Completely full of arrows. Like, it's ridiculous. He keeps on getting knocked back <laughs> every time he tries to attack. It's not working out for him. So I try and get him to go and talk to that tech hunter to fucking get some help. <laughs> I'm like, I'll take help from anyone at this point. Fuck, I'll recruit a dust bandit to help me. Because all my guys are dying. My first robot bangs. He's in critical condition. I end up getting this guy to help me for six hours, and I really don't know if he did anything. I couldn't see him most of the time, or he was either knocked out. After all the fighting had settled, it made for a pretty good uh, loot ground, other than the fact that most of the loot was very low tier, so I wouldn't get too, too much money from it anyways. At this point, I just had my robot stealthed, healing himself. That way we could at least get one person. During this entire time, more bands of groups tried to attack the bar. But I managed getting my robot healed and then getting everybody healed to a certain degree. And I was able to carry them to beds successfully. Until we had a fucking assassination attempt to go right by my one guy that was on guard of the sleeping people. So... We had to quickly wake up and deal with all that nonsense. Luckily, didn't get too, too hurt, but we ended up getting quite a bit of combat experience from all this. There's, at the end of it, there's just a fucking massive pile of bodies <laughs> in front of a door. Where you just walk by and you look over and you're like, the fuck happened there? B01 now waits while our party gets healed up and that's about where i'm gonna end it for this episode of the kenshi let's struggle i don't really know how i'm gonna pull off a feat in this one i have quite a bit of mods um, installed to make it more difficult but i'm at, i had a pretty fun time while playing so if you guys want to see episode two make sure you leave a like subscribe Fucking check out my other videos if you want. I got a few other Kenshi videos you might like as well as other kinds of videos coming out soon. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.